Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Let's start by thanking all the subscribers and viewers. The response has been overwhelming so far. We really appreciate it and have decided to try something a little different. Our current formatting style just doesn't incorporate what we are trying to do here. We wanted a channel that's engaging, that shares what we find when watching our favorite movies, and the current style choice leaves some viewers seeing our content as a little negative. So let's state three very true facts. Number one, we are wanting to know if you saw the same things we did or more. That's why we add your finds to the end of the next video. Number two, no matter what we point out, we hope this doesn't change your opinion of the film. Number three, these mistakes slash goose are actually a testament to the greatness of these productions. How you ask? The filmmakers were able to craft such an engaging story that you, I, and the majority of the people that saw these films were so engrossed in movie magic that we either did notice or completely ignored these mistakes. That, my friends, is a testament to great filmmaking. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our next installment, and if this content isn't for you, CinemaWins has a complete library of choices available. As always, thanks for watching. This is an easy one. See if you can guess what's wrong here. Holly's last name is spelled two different ways. I'll let these two sequences play and see if you can guess the goof. Joseph Yoshinobu Takagi. Born Kyoto, 1937. Although Hans Gruber says Takagi was born in 1937, the computer readout shows that he was in the military in 1940 at the age of three. Also, this picture doesn't look like Takagi. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you. See if you can guess what's wrong with these scenes. In the meantime, I want you to find a safe place to hold up and let us do our job. A few moments later. We're on the way. If you're wondering what happened to Sergeant Powell's head wound, then you're with the rest of us. Pay attention to the police car that Sergeant Powell is driving. No signs of disturbance. Nothing special about this police car, right? Now here's the scene after he leaves the tower. There's a Chevy Impala symbol on the passenger side. Here's another shot to show that it's now on the driver's side, too. Now they're gone again. Watch the pallet that John is hiding behind. The size of pallet changes from one shot to the next. Here's an interesting one. Blink and you'll miss it. Did you see that? This time look in the second story window above the light post. There's someone standing to the right of the rocket launcher terrorist. But when he fired, the only person in the room was this guy to his left. Check out this scene towards the end of the movie. Did you catch that? Let's watch it again in slow motion. If you look here, you can see Carl, who was supposed to be hanging, hiding in the corner. Here's a shot of the courier truck at the beginning of the movie. I always thought this guy was Huey Lewis. Now here's a shot of the same truck at the end of the movie. Notice something? That's right. There's no ambulance in the truck at the beginning. Here's a hint. Take a look at the ceiling. If you look here, you can see the shadow of the safety wire. Happy trails, Hans. Although two helicopters head to the tower, you only see one there. 
Huey Lewis is on a collision course with this wall. Take truck number five and get out of here. Truck number four. The stuntman is clearly visible in this shot. 